so we, uh, we took him home. I cut his hair, I probably gave him like 10 baths. Uh, <laughs> we got him his vaccinations, and a couple months after that, we were back in the States. Started working with him, and he has been with us ever since. So everyone, this little guy here is Cholo. she liked and stuff, and um, then she said something that was very funny and very confusing. She looked at Loka and she goes, oh, I like this one because she reminds me of my husband, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> As you can imagine, my dad and I were very confused until she said the reason she said that was because Loka actually has a white cross on her chest. <laughs> so everyone, this little girl here is Loka. Big dog here, her name is Bella. She's the main reason why we got from the semifinals to the finals. She uh, learned a very complicated trick in a very short amount of time, uh, at least for its difficulty. Um, basically, the reason why the trick is so complicated is because it's basically three tricks that kind of, you know, one big trick that consists of these three tricks. And Bella actually has to know what order those tricks go in to be able to perform it correctly. And the first time that she actually ever performed that trick was live on the semifinal round. And uh, my dad and I were very nervous for that round because sometimes what happens is even if a dog's been on stage and they've been performing for years, sometimes when they go to do a brand new trick for the very first time, they can get a little bit nervous. Uh, just like my dad and I get nervous, the only difference is we have to learn how to control our nerves. Dogs don't really know how to do that. So we've had it happen before where you know, we'll go to debut a trick and we'll get everything set up and we'll give the command and the dog just kind of stands there and does nothing. <laughs> Very awkward. So on American Scout Talent, we only have about a minute and a half to perform. So if something goes, you know, goes wrong, there's not really that much time to recuperate from it. Uh, so we were pretty nervous, but Bella pulled it off incredibly well. It seemed like it was just another day for her. And I would love to tell you guys what the trick is, but I'm gonna keep it a secret so I can show you here in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is say this is Bella, and she has an amazing trick to show you guys very soon. Dog, how come we haven't seen him in previous performances? And we explained that he was a brand new dog, he had never touched a stage before. And uh, he goes, Oh, well, that's a shame because I know you and your father are going to wear tuxedos for your final performance. And since he's so big on the left side of the stage, he was taking his first couple of steps. And my dad and I could say that he was a little bit taken by the crowd and the lights. And we were hoping that nothing was going to go wrong. And then he did something really incredible. On America's Got Talent, just off the edge of the stage, they have two rails that run the entire length of the stage with a tripod and camera that sits about stage height. And he moves back and forth for close-up shots. Well, it just so happens that that camera was on the same side that also came out from, and it moved ever so slightly, but it was enough to catch his eye, and so he decided to stare at the camera, and then when it moved, he moved, and he <laughs> followed the camera the whole way across the stage. <laughs> and uh, my dad and I kind of just looked at each other, we were in surprise, and we were like, yes, all right, cool. <laughs> and so um, we got backstage, and everybody was like really excited. They're like, wow, you guys are incredible. How did you teach him how to do that in like two days? Uh, but we didn't. So uh, <laughs> we had to play it off some sort of way though. So we were like, oh yeah, we're dog trainers. That's what we do. But that was something that also came up with completely by himself. So my dad and I always say that I guess also was just a natural born performer. So everyone, this guy is also. <laughs> Yet, however, he does walk around on his hind legs. Uh, that's generally one of the first things that we teach our dogs because it's very useful in building their hind leg muscles and, and developing their, their focus as well. And what's 
what's really cool for us is since we have so many dogs that do walk around on their hind legs, we get to see how they differentiate with their unique little personalities and habits. Uh, for instance, Coco here, he'll walk around on his hind legs just like all the, all the other dogs will. Um, but for some reason, and we actually found this out during the show and it was really funny, is um, when he gets really excited, he decides to start hopping instead of walking. And he has like really long ears and a short stubby tail, so he looks like a rabbit. And it's really, really funny. So we want to see if he's going to hop for everybody this evening, but I need everybody to clap really loud so he gets excited. He 
can't do anything. 